West Texas was developed by strong families whose legacies form the culture we enjoy as West Texans. Gretchen Nolke is honoring her great-grandmother, Joanna Carolina Wilhelmina Prugel Wilhelm, because of the great courage it took to come to America from the part of Germany which is now Poland. After arriving in New Orleans, they left in an ox cart, and their journey took them through Camp San Saba and eventually to Pecan Springs. They chose Pecan Springs because they needed the water that was available there. Their goal was to accumulate land beyond the initial 640 acres they received when they moved to the area, and did they ever. Joanna's story is a true rags to riches tale based on persistence and hard work. Through sheer determination, Joanna's ranching empire was able to endure the deaths of her husband, oldest son, and two infant children, and she was able to continue its growth to nearly 30,000 acres. Because of the caliber of wool that she produced, Joanna became known as far away as Boston as the Sheep Queen of Texas. Joanna left a tremendous mark in the early 20th century West Texas. She was elected several times as an honorary vice president of the Wool Growers Central Storage Company. According to George Richardson, president of the Concho Valley Loan and Trust and former wool commission merchant, Few sheep raisers in Texas or anywhere else were better judges of sheep than Miss Wilhelm. Hard work and strict attention to business accounts for her success. For great-granddaughter Gretchen Nolke, she feels connected to the area because it's home and her heritage. She also feels that it's vital that ranch owners diversify. Ranchers cannot rely solely on sheep and cattle to make enough money to sustain a ranching operation. For Joanna, Sheep Queen of Texas was a well-earned title. Thank you to the Joanna Wilhelm family for their contributions to our West Texas heritage.